Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another DeepView tutorial. Today we'll be doing an overview of the alerts module and features here in the application. Now to start with, we're right now on a daily chart of the QQQ, uh, but for the purposes of this tutorial, let's go on down to a one minute time frame just so we can get a little bit more movement and set our alerts a little bit more precisely. So uh, setting alerts can be done in two different ways and they can be done in the screener module or in the deep list module, as well as in the alerts module, wherever there's a chart in DFU, you can go ahead and set alerts. The first way to set alerts is to go ahead and right click anywhere on the chart, click add alert, and then you can go ahead and enter a value specifically that you'd like to set alert at. So let's go ahead and set one right at 319.20. We'll go ahead and say we want to both send an email, send an SMS, as well as have a pop-up in the application. You can also go ahead and leave a note here that will show up when this alert is sent to you. So let's go ahead and type in price. And you can also notify it when it rises above this level, falls below, or keep them both checked, and also change the time frame of the alert. But this looks pretty good to me. So let's go ahead and create that alert. Uh, so that alert was successfully created. Uh, you can go ahead and see it in your alerts module. But let's talk about now the second way to set an alert here in DeepView. So what you want to do is to go ahead and either use a shortcut or activate your trend line tool using this menu right here. And once that's selected, what you want to do is go ahead and draw a line on the charts and then right click here on it, click add alert. And then once again, you can change the different settings here. We'll call this TL for trend line. And let's go ahead and create this alert. Uh, you can see it's now changed to orange because it was uh, set and you can see we actually now both activated our uh, price alert as well as that trend line which we just created we saw the pop-ups show up and if we go over here to the alert not notification panel and bring that up uh, you can go ahead if we look at the past 15 minutes you can see we've got two alerts here and take a look a little bit at the alert notification itself there's a few different components that i do want to cover uh, first, you've got the symbol, of course. You've got the uh, the logo of the ETF or product, and then you've got rising above or rising below, depending on how the alert was activated. Uh, then looking over to the right, this is the percent change on that day. So you can see the QQQ was down 0.93% at the time that this alert was created. And then we've got the relative volume, price surge, and whatever note that you've placed alongside your alert. And the idea with these notifications, and this shows up also in your email as well as text, um, is that you can get a clear picture of how the stock is performing on the day and also the recent momentum of the stock. So you've got the relative volume to see if it's operating on greater than one, meaning above average volume, or less than one, meaning lower than average volume. And you've also got the price surge data point, which is pretty unique to DeepView, which basically is the price percent change over the past 15 minutes. So you can see that on the day, the QQ was down, and also over the past 15 minutes, it was also down. And right now we're having a little bit of a counter trend rally that we can see over here on the chart. Uh, very similar picture to the other alert that was activated that we set. And let's also check out the alert module by clicking manage alerts. Bringing this up, let's go ahead and drag this out. Uh, you can see all the alerts that I've set recently, uh, as well as their notes, the alert type, when it was created, the symbol, as well as the status. Uh, you can easily turn an alert on and off using this toggle, and you can also edit the alert by clicking this icon whenever you've selected a specific row, and you can see it brings up that same menu that we've seen previously where you can edit uh, the notification settings as well as um, the basically criteria to turn on this alert. And currently in DeepView, we have trend line and price alerts as we've gone over, uh, but we certainly have plans in our future uh, to implement more advanced alert notifications, such as ones that trigger uh, based on indicators, uh, ones that based on um, volume, run rates, industry group strength, all those different stuff. So we'll get a lot more advanced later on, but we've got a strong core uh, that's pretty much all you need to track the market and track your watch list. So that's a quick overview of the alerts module here in DeepView. Let us know if you have any questions and take care.